and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am doing something a little bit different. A little bit very un-New Zealand really. Um, <laughs> you're looking at that record going what is she talking about? Well today I'm doing a very different kind of record pour because it starts with a pumpkin. Yes a pumpkin. Halloween is coming and October's challenge for um, for for this month is Halloween based. So um, I am going to have another camera running as a side shot. I'm going to try this again. I did this once before and when I edited it, I did a really bad job of editing the, and we ended up with overlap. So if you were one of the people that got a headache from trying to watch that, my apologies profusely. Um, <laughs> and while I'm setting up this other camera, what I'd like to do is to thank those of you that um, sponsored me uh, through my PayPal link, which is always in the description of all my videos. Um, in the month of, of September that was super super awesome so grateful um, and so if you would like to sponsor me then check in the description below the video there is a um, oh what's going on here camera um, yep, yeah, there is a link there and you can send me money and that helps pay for what I use in, to make these videos. So I love bringing them to you and it's not cheap to do a video a day, guys. Uh, okay, this camera is not working very well. What's going on? Right, well, while that camera is sorting itself out, what I'm going to do is finish setting up here so that you guys get to see the whole kit and caboodle. Now, what, um, what I'm going to put on here is some reversing truck noises. Don't you love it when I decide to video just when all my staff come home? That's so cool. Um... I do like pouring at this time of the day because then I know that my husband is home when I go inside and he beat me home. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some Mars Black around, oh crikey what is that? That's a really big lump. Um around on the record and what that is is just a bit of a backstop um i'm a bit lumpy oh what's weird this is weird what is my paint doing anyway what i know then if i've got this black on here is no matter how much runs off the pumpkin um it will be good to go and we'll have a result without having big gigantic holes so it's one of the things I like to have is in my paintings is the whole canvas or the whole record whatever it is I'm painting on covered so Just scooting around. All right, it's not very smooth. So let's give it a bit of a shot with the low torch just to. Pop air bubbles so we can tell which is the lumps in the paint and which is the air bubbles. And then I 
all right there is a lot of work left to do on this once we have more paint but we have paint all over the record so I'm going to put that back on there some of you have been watching my videos for a long time and you'll remember that um, I've poured on all sorts of things and from through graters uh, and all sorts of things so this is not going to be unusual for you to see me pouring weird shapes and things. I'm just hoping that this pumpkin decides it wants to stay on my pot. Maybe I should put it on a bigger pot. Maybe I should. Yeah, I think so. It doesn't want to sit on a tin. So I do have a backup. And my backup plan is this. Um, here we go. Why did I put straws there? Just so that the paint can sort of run down and go as far under as possible. And I'm just creating an initial coverage. I'm not going to need one in there, I don't think. But what that initial coverage does is gives a base for the paint that we pour on next to slide down. So right now we've got a black pumpkin sitting on a black record. Um... So, I'm going to clean my black fingers <laughs> and be right back. Okay. Awesome. So, what colours am I going to use for this amazing creation? I'm going to follow up on a comment that was made on my little happy pumpkin record. Um, that started off the Halloween theme and I'm going to do a teal pumpkin now for those of you not in the States um, teal pumpkin outside your house means that you're not doing lollies for um, for Halloween gifts so that's kind of cool quite like that concept so we're gonna go with some white some turquoise and some viridian hue and if you saw my video yesterday you'll know that these colors I have mixed with my new trial pouring medium and by trial pouring medium it's normally I just mix flow troll and water straight into the um, straight into the paint in the tin that I'm mixing it in and that's worked totally fine in the past and I've been watching a lot of videos lately of people who are using other combinations so the pouring medium I have in this paint here is made up of uh, two-fifths flow troll two-fifths water and one-fifth PVA glue um, and my initial mix was 50-50 with paint and that meh, 
didn't go so good. Um, now, my other camera is not going to work very well. So I'm going to bring you down on an angle so you can see kind of what is happening, at least. And so as you can see, I've poured them all in on one side. They've layered quite candy cane-ish. And now I've turned around so we've got the side-on version, hopefully, to pour out. Which, of course, as soon as I go around in a circle, twiddles over in certain ways. Oh, well, we've got some cells going on. I'm going to come further into the centre. And hope that that kind of slides down. But that's looking cool on the side. That's looking way cool. I am loving those sides. That looks awesome. The top, not so necessarily excited about. I should have kept it flowing a little bit better, but I didn't. So I'm just going to give it a very cool little drag and pull type technique just to join. Hopefully have that run down into that centerpiece. But that is looking super, super delicious. I am loving that. Um, let's see if this record will let me turn around so you can see the whole thing. And as you can see, there's stuff dripping off onto our record. So who knows what magic that's going to create. I just really like that magic to include the centerpiece. Come on, you. And you come. Down you come. Just giving it a little bit of invitation to another possibility. Come on. There is a greater possibility down here. I swear. Okay. That is looking fabulous. Let's see if there's any cells. Um, yep. Cells is a good thing. Try not to cook the pumpkin.
Yes. Yes, there's cells. Check this out, guys. There is dentsy wincy little cells all around our pumpkin, which, as they maybe continue to flow, maybe not, depends on what they choose, we could end up with a very funky pumpkin. That's so cool. Now, this side here is a little bit... Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. The next question is, how do I get the pumpkin off the record so that I can then play with the paint that's on the record? I think I need a third hand. Because my hands just ain't quite... Ah, I did, didn't I? I did. Ah. Hallelujah. What else is possible? All right, I'm going to give it a go. I did it. I did it. I moved it. That oil continue to drip. Um, but it can sit over there and drip while we play with this paint over here. Look at this, guys. We have dripalicious yumminess. And there's quite a bit of paint on there. And <laughs> I gotta show you this. This is so cool. Oops, how far can I zoom? Not really far enough. I just wanted to show you. I've taken the camera down now. Um, let's go in and have a have an unmagnified close look. Look at all those lines from where it's drip, 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 dripped. I love that. Such a cool effect. I wonder if that's what inspired somebody to create the spiral pour. What do you reckon? Wow, check that one out. Maybe it. It's so cool. All right, I'm going to put you back up and we will play with this stuff okay so you're back up on the tripod and we've got paint to pour around question is, is there enough? And what's it going to do? It's always a good question. What's it going to do? Just... <laughs> Love that piece there, all those lines. It's like looking um, looking through an image through that glass that used to be, you know, what they used to have on toilet doors and bathrooms and stuff. Kind of like serrated glass. Do you know what I mean?
Yes, we have enough paint if it's dripping off. It's always a good sign. Now, as much as I really like some of the textures and stuff, there's something that's not quite working in this piece and I need to work that out. What is it? Something missing or something that needs adding? Ooh, adding. Adding, adding and subtracting and multiplying, play. You know what colour goes really well with these ones? It's copper. Dun, 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 dun. So I've got some copper and I'm just wondering... What will happen? There's somebody out there that's going to freak out when I do this. Like, no! I'm just going to pour a big blob there. And then... It's hammer time! Ba -na -na -na. Ba -na. One... Two, three. <laughs> um, we got a bat flying on our pumpkin. I'm wondering how far that paint went. Crikey. It definitely went all over me. My water bottle. But you know what? That is exactly what that piece needed that looks fantastic whoop, whoop. Do, 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 do. happy happy joy joy happy happy me crikey that's so cool i really like that all right i'm gonna leave that exactly as it is except i'm gonna torch it got lots of lots of um cells on the um on the copper I'm just noticing some areas of record that don't quite have much paint just topping those up being careful to avoid the copper line all right I like that a lot. Wow. Wow. And I wish that splatter had been on the other side of the pumpkin. Oops. Let me get you down and show you what's going on on the pumpkin.
right here it is it's dry I might paint the top black just to make it finished but you know here we have it let's go all the way around oh, that's a good lighting let's stay there and I'll turn the pumpkin around this side's a bit boring it starts getting fun again till we get to the splatter <laughs> the paint splatter caused by the record but look at the cells they say it stayed quite true so there we go I've got a teal pumpkin Top's pretty cool where I did, used my finger and went blip, 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 blip. So there you go. Pumpkin looks pretty cool. Let's move on to the record. So there it is. How cool is that? I like it. I think it's pretty cool. The splatter has got little cells. But then the background is intricate and funky and different and weird and all those cool adjectives that we all like to be look at that that looks awesome <laughs> how does it get any better than this and then we got like the view through corrugated glass I just think this is cool. Personally, I like the record more than I like the pumpkin, to be honest. And that's the first. Making a painting of the runoff and it actually working. So there you go. How's it getting any better than that? I did notice we have had a bit of uplift. Let's see if I can... It's not very obvious, to be honest, but it is there. Oh, there you go. It's the light catching it. Just a fraction of uplift, but once I've sealed it off, it'll be fine. Totally good. That's cool. So I've got painted windows, painted curtains, painted floor. Luckily, all the paintings that other than the pumpkin that it flew on when I did the mallet smash were dry and sealed so I was able just to clean that straight off again so nothing got ruined how does it get any better than that I'm happy with it and the pumpkin looks funky too so how much fun can you have with funky pumpkins and it's runoff <laughs> so Join us on Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group. Then go to the events page and post all your Halloween themed um, pours on there. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys have all created. There are some funky things on there already. Um, somebody posted yesterday a couple of painting painted pumpkins. So I'm not the only one. I'm not the only weird one in the world. We all get to be as weird as we truly be at Halloween. So, what else is possible with Halloween's Eve? I adore you all. Have fun. Bye-bye.